Available as a sleek wagon, a sporty hatchback style sedan, or as a sedan with an extended wheelbase for extra rear legroom, the 2022 Panamera can do just about anything you ask of it. And on top of its multiple body styles, the Panamera offers several powertrains including a V6, a hybrid and a turbocharged V8. There are eight trim levels and a nearly limitless options list to choose from too. No matter how you spec it, the Panamera is comfortable, refined and excellent to drive. It's worth considering whether you want a performance sedan, a luxurious cruiser or something in between. With a powerful turbocharged engine and an unmistakable road presence, the 2022 Panamera Turbo GT Edition is Porsche's sporting ethos in four-door form. Unlike the iconic 911 sports car, the Panamera Turbo S sedan also has its engine up front a twin turbo V8, making 620 horsepower. Porsche says the car is capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. With a mind-boggling 689 horsepower, the power and performance of the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid is even more extreme, it uses the same 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 from the Panamera Turbo S but Porsche adds an electric motor for the additional horsepower. It's also capable of speeds as high as 83 miles per hour, without its gas engine ever turning on, and it has a pure electric range of more than 20 miles. This gives the Panamera Turbo S the ability to keep pace with other high-powered sports sedans, such as the Audi RS7, the BMW M5, and the Mercedes-AMG GT63. Handling is lithe for a car this size, although it lacks the natural balance of the 911 and 718 Cayman, but the Panamera bests those more focused cars when it comes to passenger space and cargo storage. Although the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid is exceedingly impressive, with even more power, acceleration, and fuel efficiency than the Panamera Turbo S, it's also more expensive. This generation Panamera forgoes the glut of traditional buttons of its predecessor, but the touch-sensitive buttons that have replaced some of them aren't necessarily better. We like that there's still a touchscreen and appreciate the small dial control that provides some redundancy in how you control things. There's plenty of space in the Panamera up front, there's less in back compared to the rest of the class, unless you opt for the long wheelbase model. The driver's seat and steering column have an excellent range of basic adjustments to accommodate drivers of almost all sizes. The view out of the back window is slightly obscured by the rear headrests, but surround view camera coverage makes this a non-issue at parking lot speeds. Visibility out of the front is excellent, getting in and out of the Panamera is easy. Also, quite Apple-esque is the large and attractive 12.3-inch touchscreen sitting in the center of the Turbo S's dash. The main screen is responsive and easy to control. Unfortunately, its infotainment system isn't as easy to use as it should be. Although the system has standard features such as Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, navigation, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. Its menus are overcomplicated, many of its functions could be more intuitive, making it distracting to use while driving. On the upside, the Panamera's digital gauge cluster can sync with the CarPlay system, which allows it to put navigation maps and other information ahead of the driver. But we're less impressed with the smartphone accommodations, Bluetooth took a little longer to connect when tested than in other cars. A few Panamera lack standard USB ports for rear passengers, which is disappointing for a flagship luxury sedan. Advanced driver aids are almost all optional in the Panamera, which is unusual for a luxury brand. The Panamera benefits from a hatchback trunk, but it doesn't reap as much of an advantage as that body style usually imparts. Cargo space is pretty generous on paper, with 17.4 cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats. As far as noise goes, there is an ever-present faint hum of road noise. The EPA estimates fuel economy for the rear-wheel drive Panamera with the V6 at 20 miles per gallon combined, although for the hybrid and a hatchback, you'll never confuse the fuel efficiency of the 2022 Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid for that of a Toyota Prius. The Turbo S's big twin Turbo V8 drinks fuel rapidly, however, the e-hybrid version provides the best fuel economy when driving around town. The EPA estimates that the non-hybrid model should deliver 15 miles per gallon on city and 21 miles per gallon on highway, which are slightly higher numbers than those of rivals such as the M5 and the GT63. This isn't all that great as the Panamera 4S, which makes much more power and has all-wheel drive, achieves the exact same rating. 
Since there are such a wide variety of configurations for the Panamera, it's difficult to recommend a particular trim or body style to fit everyone's needs. But as an all-arounder choice, we think the Panamera 4s will work out well. It offers upgraded performance over the standard model, but the price remains reasonable for the class. The 2022 Porsche Panamera comes in three body styles. The regular Panamera sedan, which actually has a hatchback style trunk, a longer wheelbase executive model with additional rear seat legroom, and the Sport Turismo, which has a wagon-like profile and additional cargo space. There are also many trim levels available that are distinguished by different drivetrains and features but not in every body style. These include the base Panamera, Panamera 4, Panamera 4S, Panamera 4E Hybrid, Panamera 4SE Hybrid, Panamera GTS, Panamera Turbo S, and Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. For the baseline Panamera, and besides the typical items expected of any luxury sedan, the base Panamera standard feature highlights include turbocharged 2.9-liter V6, a 325 horsepower, 331 pounds-foot of torque, 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission driving the rear wheels, adaptive suspension which adjusts to help improve ride comfort and handling, panoramic sunroof, heated front seats, 12.3-inch infotainment touchscreen, navigation system, wireless Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto smartphone integration, wireless charging pad, and 10 Bose speaker audio system. Driver aids include front and rear parking sensors which alert you to obstacles that may not be visible in front of or behind the vehicle when parking, lane keeping assist which steers the vehicle back into its lane if it begins to drift over the lane marker, and forward collision mitigation which warns you of an impending collision and applies the brakes in certain scenarios. For the Panamera 4, the Panamera 4 includes all of the above and adds all-wheel drive. For the Panamera 4S, the Panamera 4S is identical to the Panamera 4, but increases power output to 443 horsepower and 405 pounds-foot of torque. It also has air suspension which adjusts to lower or raise the vehicle's ride height. For the Panamera 4e Hybrid, the Panamera 4e Hybrid is a plug-in hybrid that is both greener and meaner. Added enhancements include V6 engine, electric motor and rechargeable battery pack producing a total of 462 horsepower and 516 pounds-foot. EPA estimated 18 miles of all-electric driving range on a full charge. For the Panamera 4 SE Hybrid, the Panamera 4 SE Hybrid upgrades the 4E Hybrid with a power increase to 552 horsepower and 553 pounds-foot. You also get upgraded brakes, and sport chrono package with analog clock stopwatch atop the dashboard, drive mode switch on the steering wheel, and launch control. For the Panamera GTS, the Panamera GTS is the first step into the higher-performing 8-cylinder models and brings turbocharged 4.0-liter V8, which has a 473 horsepower with 457 pounds-foot, all-wheel drive, sport exhaust system, lower ride height, adaptive headlights which swivel as you turn the steering wheel for better illumination in curves, unique sporty styling touches, and upgraded front seats. For the Panamera Turbo S, the Turbo S trim replaces the previous Panamera Turbo model. Standard upgrades include upgraded turbocharged 4.0-liter V8, which is a 620 horsepower with 604 pounds-foot, all-wheel drive, ceramic composite brake rotors, rear-wheel steering which enhances steering response and handling agility, torque vectoring for the AWD system which enhances handling agility, heated rear seats, and head-up display which displays important information in your sight line onto the windshield. For the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid. Finally, at the top of the lineup, the Turbo SE Hybrid combines the Turbo V8 and E Hybrid and adds power increase to 690 horsepower and 641 pounds-foot, second air conditioning system to cool the car while it's parked, and 14-speaker Bose audio system, the Panamera is also available with a wide range of additional technology, safety and customization-oriented features. These include but are not limited to the Platinum Edition for the Panamera, Panamera 4, and the Panamera 4E Hybrid. Special interior and exterior trim, unique 21-inch wheels, a few extra standard features such as adaptive cruise control which adjusts speed to maintain a constant distance between the vehicle and the car in front. Surround view camera system which gives you a top-down view of the vehicle and its surroundings for tight parking situations. 4-zone automatic climate control. 
Blind spot monitoring which alerts you if a vehicle in the next lane over is in your blind spot. Soft close doors. Night vision camera system. Middle rear seat. Ventilated seats. Massaging seats. And premium audio system. This is the Porsche Panamera Turbo GT Edition.